What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today I give you my recommendations of what you should spend your legendary marks on come the 27th of June 2017. Now before we get into the video guys, if you do enjoy it, leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. Okay, so we're going to start with the Crucible Quartermaster. And to be honest, there's nothing incredible here this week. Um, but there are a few bits and bobs which you may be interested in. I'm going to start with the Zero Day Dilemma. As we can see on this, we've got on it Hidden Hand, Hand Laid Stock, as well as Basso Runner or Grenadier. Now, this is actually quite a decent auto rifle. Um, the archetype is quite powerful as well. With Hidden Hand and Hand Laid Stock, we've got Stability, we've got um, Target Acquisition. This is actually quite decent. It isn't too bad at all. And Basso Runner as well. Uh, even Grenadier, why not? If you're that type of person who likes to chuck grenades, why not? So yeah, the Zero Day Dilemma isn't that bad this week. Uh, also, a weapon that isn't too bad this week is the B29 Party Favor. On it this week, we have Headseeker, a Brace Frame. I'm not sure what that takes the magazine size down to. Probably about 18, probably less than that, which is a bit of a shame. Or we've got Appended Magazine, which uh, increases magazine size, as well as Outlaw or Life Support. So... This could be quite decent. I'd probably go with Outlaw, uh, Appended Mag, and Headseeker. I mean, you obviously don't have to be as accurate with Headseeker because body shots increase uh, precision damage for a short time. So yes, aim for the body. Every headshot will um, give you extra damage, so why not? So yeah, this isn't actually too bad. The sight, I know, I actually don't mind that sight as well. The reflex sight, it, it's, it's underrated. A lot of people just say it's absolute garbage, but to be honest, there's way worse sights you can have in this game. So yes, the B29 Pipe Favor this week, isn't too bad. Uh, what else we got? Well, the, he the Hero Formula, I've said this a million times, I've got a perfect rolled version of this, and it's still a garbage weapon in my opinion. Uh, reactive Reload, um, Perfect Balance, or Armor Piercing Rounds, and Zen Moment, but nah, nah. Reactive Reload is normally good on Scout Rifles, but I'd skip that, I really would. Uh, I ain't never going to bother to show you the bad weapon, so we're going to skip the palindrome instantly because it's just garbage this week. Uh, each new day, if you're a fusion rifle sort of person, this isn't too bad here. We've got a rangefinder, a small ball, or accelerated coils with knee pads or underdog um, rangefinder on each new day. With great stability, it's not bad, not bad. I'm absolutely loving my Saladin's visual at the minute. Such a beast of a weapon, it really is. Uh, you get that from Arkans Forge, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, final round, uh, rifled with replenish or life support. We've got, we've got smart drift control, we've got uh, accurized ballistics, sorry, and soft ballistics. So, not too bad of a shotgun either. Um, just drop down to one bullet, uh, kill somebody across map, as you do with final round on shotguns. Uh, event horizon as well. PVE sniper, great, great role. We've got on it firefly, small ball, which increases stability and range, or you could go with quick draw, but for PVE, Ain't going to make a difference. And we've got triple tap as well with a sight which is quite decent for PVE. And that's the Longview SLR-10. Um, so yes, not bad if you're after a PVE weapon. Uh, now, nothing great here. I mean, like, the Anton's Rule, yeah, it's a sidearm. But it's just a sidearm. You must have a decent sidearm by now. You really must. So we're going to check out Vanguard. So I'll catch you guys quickly back in a sec. Okay guys, so we're at the Vanguard Quartermaster and there's two weapons this week, in my opinion, worth you taking a double look at and the first one is the Angel's Advocate. I actually made a video on this weapon quite a while back when he brought a similar role uh, or she brought a similar role, I don't know, he's a Vanguard Quartermaster, male or female, I ain't got a clue. Either way, she either got robot boobies or robot penis. Um, but yeah, here we have Rodeo. Uh, perfect balance and hidden hand or you could swap perfect balance for hammer forge but this shoots quite well relatively quick for a scout so i'd probably go with rodeo and perfect balance just because of stability wise with hidden hand as well this weapon is like a legendary um mirror multi tool it really is now i'll link the weapon review i did of this weapon in the video description if you do want to check it out but it's angel's advocate is definitely a decent scout rifle for pvp it really is okay and the other weapon which is Quite decent this week is the Teacup Tempest. On it we have Rangefinder, uh, Hand Loaded or High Caliber Rounds with Outlaw or Cascade. Now, well, if it's True Shot as well, or Sure Shot, yeah, not bad. Um, 
Kiko Pempest isn't, in my opinion, the best sidearm in the game, but it's quite decent. I died to it quite a lot within PvP. Never actually owned a decent rolled version. Well, I have owned one, but I've just dismantled it because I've got amazing um, sidearms. I'll show you the one I'm using now, uh, even though it's a thing. Have I got it on this character? Yes, I have here. The Binding Blaze. I love this thing. I really do. Rangefinder, Snapshot and reinforced and it's great it really is You've got extended range within two perks with snapshot and it just drops people it's actually really good um, and you get that from iron banner bounties i think you may be able to get it from the weekly sidearm uh, bounty that uh, lord shax brings or is it the crucible quartermaster uh, whichever one brings the weapon bounties um you pr actually you can that's where i've got it from that is where i've got it from so yeah the binding blaze is a must must uh weapon to grind for um, and that's it, people, for the Vanguard Quartermaster. There's nothing else here. Has she got a PP or booby? Uh, can't really see. But yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to skip to Dead Orbit and see if there's anything there worth your time. And who is this dude? The Tale of Bob. Okay, well, Dead Orbit is a little bit of a disappointment this week. I mean, there's literally nothing here. There's literally nothing here. Um... Keystone is probably the best weapon, but this, in my opinion, needs stability. It really does. On it, we've got full auto, hammer forge, and, or outlaw, and hidden hand. I mean, it could be decent. I mean, with these three perks, but it bounces. I mean, it's, uh, it's shoot slow, high impact. We all can see that. But it still bounces, uh, relatively violent. I had this weapon without no stability, and it's powerful, don't get me wrong. It is, it's extremely powerful, but it needs stability. I mean, this could be good for you um i mean it's a decent role but in my opinion definitely needs stability but yes dead orbit this week is shocking uh, so future walkout here we come okay so future walkout has a couple of good weapons this week um and the first one being the waltz now the waltz as we all know is a rapid pull drive it just shoots crazy fast uh, it takes a lot to control it as well, but this week we have on it counterbalance, which is the best stability perk in the game. You couldn't wish for more. Uh, we've also got an uh, hammer forged. I don't know why I was going to say range finder then. Hammer forged or a uh, feeding frenzy with armor piercing rounds or quick draw. Me personally, I go with the top three perks yeah, and it could surprise you. It really could, and that's if I was going to buy this weapon this week, which I probably won't. But if you guys are into this fast fire rate, um, low impact uh, pulse rifle, this may be for you. Another weapon this week, which is actually really good, and that is this right here. On it we have cluster bomb, a tripod, a flared magwell or quick draw with warhead veneers, soft launch or hard launch. Now this is a great Great, great, great PvE weapon right here, it really is. Um, shame it hasn't got, um, what's it called, Field Scout, but still we're having it Tripod and Cluster Bomb, which is amazing for bosses, it really is. So yes, if you're after a PvE uh, rocket launcher, the Warpath this week is a decent, decent, it's not, I wouldn't say it's a must buy, but it's decent, it really is. And to be honest, that is it. This is an amazing sidearm when it comes to the right roll. So if you're ever on the lookout for a sidearm, always check for the Wormwood and the roll it's got. It still would outgun most of the sidearms in the game, it really would. So yeah. Um, but other than that, people, nothing here is a must buy. Nothing here worth mentioning, in my opinion. So I'm going to quickly skip to future, not future Walcott, sorry, New Monarchy, and I will resume when I get there. Uh, and that is it, people. We are at New Monarchy, and there's just nothing here. There's nothing here worth you wasting your marks on. Because that's what it would be. It would be an absolute waste. I mean, um, no, there's nothing I'd recommend. There's seriously nothing I would recommend. I mean, okay, the D position seven. Um, I'd say okay, so we've got a decent PvP role here with um, ambush, lightweight or explosive rounds, hammer forged or clan cartridge, and hidden hand. But how many of you guys actually need a sniper nowadays? I mean, if you need one, this D position isn't too bad at all. Um, decent for PvP, but nothing else here, people. There's literally nothing else here. And unfortunately, that is it for another video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do smash that like button. I do a Parishi 8 support. And as always, guys, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.